Hello everyone, and welcome to the now and future of the Shoujo Games, also known as the Manga Gamer Panel. <laughs> uh, this year we don't have any of the industry guests like we do previously, but we actually have a lot of our English staff here with us. So let me start by introducing uh, some of the people we have here today. Uh, over here on the far right is Paul. He's one of our beta testers. Uh, you've probably seen quite a few of his posts on the blog before. Uh, he's busy tweeting the news for us right now. Died of fire. <laughs> <laughs> and to the right of me here is Koji Hoda. Hi. Uh, I like organize things from the, the trans Japan side and get to yell at the translators from time to time. He's the one who actually does the work of getting the games you guys want. Where is Shin Hime so? And in case you didn't know, I'm John, also known as Koryu online and Twitter. You probably, if you follow us, our company at all, you've seen stuff that I've pointed out. Uh, to my left here is Tim, one of our old beta testers, who's now editing Emo Farah. Uh, hi, a lot of you probably know me from Hendane because you're all shameless perverts. Yeah, so I recently moved up um, to editor status from beta tester, which means I do exactly what I did before, but now I get paid for it. <laughs> I took to the word shame. And to his left here well, is Yukuri-S, one of our latest translators. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't forget this. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many people in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can't see without the mask. Yeah, I'm Kudi uh, S. I am on the translators. I'm currently working on the Moto Paradise. It is Emoto Testing. That's all I can say. And to the end of our intro, is uh, our friend Danger. Uh, you'll see him at the booth selling goods to you guys. I sell things. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm the happy box man. <laughs> Yes. Uh, first thing is that we're proud to announce that Harukoi Otome finally has an actual release date. Yeah. Yay! As you guys can see, it's going to be coming out uh, this right. August 9th. Sure. Uh, it's the same day as, same as Overcome Weekend. So yes, after many long years, this game has finally come out. Uh, for those not familiar, it's uh, another game uh, from by based on it's more of a, it's a more romantic school drama. It's a different take from uh, Kojime Muso. And uh, Kojime Muso was actually spun off from this game originally. Uh, it's a very sweet game. Do you want to say something? Okay. But yes, yeah, it's also just as long as Kojime Muso, for those who are interested. Oh, awesome. And next, you could yes, since you worked on this game, go ahead and take over. Um, so, yeah, we have here World End Economica. It's uh, available now on the Mamiyama website. If you don't already know, it's by a dojin star called Spicy Tales. Uh, the principal person there is uh, Hasekura Isuna. You probably know him from, uh, as the author of Spice and Wolf. So basically, so wolves and economics, it is about this guy on the moon and about uh, margin trading. So if you understand anything about that, it'll probably be very interesting. <laughs> it is a beautiful investment. Visual novel game. <laughs> yeah, if any of you guys actually like Spice and Wolf, you will definitely love this visual novel. Uh, it's going to be three volumes, and we only have the we currently have the first volume on our website. Um, also, for people that follow music and stuff, the opening is done by Kishida Kyoran, the Akeboshi Rockets. If you're familiar, they did a lot of Toho music, and they did their first professional break. They did. Uh, the High School of the Dead opening, so I mean, it's, it has some star power behind it, so yes. please enjoy. And World and Economica is also an all-ages game, so anyone under 18 can buy it as well. Nah. <laughs> We're fine on the all-ages part. So, before we move on, who here likes Little Sisters? <laughs> Can't show the screen. Can't show the screen. This is another one of our games that's been translated by uh, Yukuri S up here, so I'm gonna let him take over too. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, tell them all about your fun with the little sisters. 
I do not actually know what he's talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, so in Mental Paradise, uh, you, you are the a guy with five sisters who love you so much. Oh wait, no, this was Princess. <laughs> they, they do actually love you very much, and uh, it covers every major fetish group, so you definitely get your fill of everything. I think it's mostly about them. <laughs> oh, uh, I should, should also point out um, that they're not cop-out emotos like in a lot of games, they are actually blood-related. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, you goodies, which one's your favorite emoto? Are we actually talking about this right now? Yes. <laughs> I want you to tell the audience which emoto you love the most. Okay. You know, I as my wife who she is the perfect emoto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll put that on the record. I didn't say anything. Aya <laughs> uh, is pretty delicious. Um, <laughs> you're my favorite Kalpara's right now, aren't you? You might want to no. tell them who Aya is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she, she would be the eldest, so the one with the pink hair. Uh, <laughs> she, she has all sorts of wholesome goodness. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it might be just the fact that that's the one I'm in the middle of, but I've been really getting into Rio right now. And uh, yeah, she's she's, the, the, she's very deliciously sun sun. Blue hair. Um, also, uh, though they couldn't be here, we actually have a message from Japan from the character designer. Uh, it goes by the name of Ito Life. I will give you the translation. There's all sorts of amazing. I literally translated just five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Ito Life does a lot of From Japan has now become fat material for the world. Which makes me incredibly. Happy person. <laughs> Total Life is a happy person. Thank you everyone for playing. Well, in the future. <laughs> okay. So, enough about the stuff you guys already know about. Who's ready for some new announcements? Yeah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, yes. a certain uh, Nuki Gay company like, contacted us and they wanted to start uh, a translating game to English as well. And they're going to be our super low, low price, price lineup, price starting from around uh, 9.95. And the first game they have is called Ruby Striker. It, uh, Can't show it. Girl in a battle suit, uh, she gets caught by her mortal enemy and gets uh, pretty much raped by tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> um, so pretty much the game. <laughs> by, by the way, show of, show of voices, who here likes tentacle rape? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I don't see if you do. <laughs> I already have it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Warrior Princess Oscar. <laughs> Can't show this either. Yeah, um, like, Name just title in English, and there's also like a word like slave in the title, but warrior princess slave Asuka is kind of wordy. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of uh, cut it off. But. And these games, uh, they actually don't have any uh, standing poses that you usually see in a visual novel. It's just a bunch of CCs and a story. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is hidden. Okay, so before we move on to uh, announcing our next newest partner, who here likes good hot porn? Yeah. <laughs> partner is one that we have had plenty of requests for online, on our blog, and on our website. So today, we are finally proud to announce that we have formed our newest partnership with Lilith. Yes! Is Armored Warrior Iris. Not uh, sure this if I can basically show this. it's a 
in his pocket. In the future, she's sort of a uh, member of the police security force uh, who pilots mechs basically taking down drug lords, drug cartels. And one day, the planet, uh, big, the big city on the planet decides, you know what, screw the cops, we've had enough of this, we're killing you. And, in the, and so war breaks out between the two, and after the battle, the uh, Iris and her partner have fallen, and oh, look, now they're in the slave trade they were trying to put down. <laughs> and that's where the game actually starts, as you sit there uh, controlling them once they're in the, uh, once they're actually uh, enslaved as prostitutes, and choosing uh, which customer preferences you wish to hire them out to. <laughs> which includes anything from her ex-comrades in the military, other aliens in the space, and the crazy perverts who want to do all kinds of strange things to her body before fucking her. <laughs> hey, just remember, as 1990s arcade machines informed you, winners don't do drugs. <laughs> Uh, oh, our wow. next title from Lily Definitely can't is called that. Valkyrie Svia. Uh, some of the, uh, those of you who actually watch hentai anime uh, might recognize it from the title a lot of websites used before, which was Ikusa Otome Suvia. Uh, this is that game. Uh, it's, very much, it's very much based in Norse mythology. The protagonist is Loki, trying to take over Asgard. And Suvia and Sigurd are the last two standing in his way. So it's time to rape the Valkyries until you conquer Asgard. <laughs> They're Asgardians. <laughs> yeah, I can't show that either. And here we have Space Pirate Sara. Uh, so it's actually somewhat similar to Iris. Um, she's actually a pirate. Uh, she's in search of a special treasure that she's been that she's been trying to find, and she finally gets information from one of the nobles on a planet, and it sends her to a different planet where she's double-crossed. And now she's in the slave trade. <laughs> <laughs> Who here likes enslaved girls that you get to do whatever you want with? Uh, uh, the pass. It's okay to like the slaver here, they're white. <laughs> he pulled it. He pulled it. He pulled it. He pulled it. Okay. So, hold on. So, before we move on, we know a lot of people have asked for it. Who here? has always wanted to see more from Innocent Grey. Oh, yes! <laughs> Today, we are proud to announce several new titles, starting with Innocent Grey's... Can I show this? Yeah. Are you sure? It's on YouTube. is exactly like my moves.
Oh yes, we are proud to announce that we have acquired Kara no Shoujo 2. Oh, but that's not all. Cartago. We also have Cartagra. Uh, for those who are familiar with the series, uh, oh, actually, you, know you wanted to talk about this. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, who here actually has played Tower of the Shoujo? With voices. All of about seven of you. That's about as many as I expected. Okay. <laughs> That's really depressing. Um, because Tower of Shoujo is amazing. And you only need to go out and play it right now. But basically, yeah, it's a series of um, hard boiled, dark, violent murder mysteries. Uh, and yeah, there's some doing it on the side, but that's kind of, you know, on, uh, not the main focus. Uh, the main focus is on, yeah, grisly murders and trying to solve them. So, yeah, seriously, go get it right now. Like, break out your smartphones and get it right now. Um, just out of curiosity, who's played Higurashi? Yeah, okay, all of you who played Higurashi, Karuna Shoujo is like Higurashi on crank, alright? It is... <laughs> Amazing by comparison to Eddie Garage. So seriously, get in. And for those who are curious, uh, and those who actually came up with fan translations, you may know that uh, we actually got Karno Shoujo originally as a fan translation. Uh, we have talked to the original fan translator. Uh, they are going to be providing us with the translation for Cartagra. He's actually currently working on putting the finishing touches up on his original translation. So hopefully we'll actually be able to prepare this one for release quite soon. And once he finishes this, he's going to be working on Karno Shoujo 2 for us. Excellent. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Cartagra is the previous game in the series. It's basically the prequel to Karno Shoujo. So yeah, if you play Karno Shoujo, then yeah, you have some spoilers about Cartagra. She's a doll. Of course, that's not all. We also have Innocent Grey's sister brand. Yes. Oh. Noises. Uh, for those not familiar with uh, the brands, uh, Innocent Grey's sister brand, Noisys, is the brand that they use uh, for their more porn-centered games. And we have licensed uh, two of their most popular titles. Free Friends 1 and Free Friends 2. Well, of course. That is a Arguably. Uh, the, yeah, the, ba the, the basic idea By the way, of the can't story show this. for both of these is in each game it's a different girl, but um, she basically, she's kicked, for one reason or another, she's lost her home or kicked out of her home and is trying to find a way to live while she's still getting through school. So she ends up going on to this uh, basically social networking site where people like her can put posts and offer sexual gratification for men who wish to provide housing and other needs that they have, such as food and clothing. So the stories actually center around these two, the, each game focuses around one of these two girls who, go, who end up on the site and how their lives change as they basically for themselves out for their livelihood to one man or another. Christian Mingle Hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds like a really porn game premise, and I assure you there's plenty of porn in the games, but it actually is a bit more deep. It's much it's actually is a bit deeper than some of the stories you've seen in our soft house seal games. They actually do get into the relationships between <laughs> the girls and the men they end up with. And, okay, look, oh yeah, there's one more thing we have. Yes. Yes. yes! We are proud to announce that we have acquired the voices for Kara no Shoujo. The, we will be making a patch available on our website for those who have already bought the game from us. Um, unfortunately, if you want to talk about pricing. <coughs> yeah. Since uh, we need to give the royalty back to Innocent Grey and the voice actors, uh, we are pricing the pack at $5 and the voice edition for $34.95. I think you mixed that up. The voice patch is $5. Yeah, voice patch is $5. The voice edition is $34.95 when the voice edition was uh, $29.95 originally. 
What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know EA was good. Oh, no, no. Okay. Uh, and another, one other thing is we are also proud to announce that Cardinal Shoujo will be getting, the voice edition will be getting a hard copy release. Yes. Uh, limited edition. Is going to be in the limited edition? We're going to have the Arista soundtrack along with a, a box that uh, holds both, the, both game and the soundtrack. And the soundtrack is worth it just for the main theme song, which is done by Shimotsuki Haruka, who some of you might know as one of the main singers from the Art and Elico series, among other things. Okay, so now it's time for Q&A, and as long as we have time before it ends. So, okay, first, I saw first hand here. What is the price Uh, package for hard copy murder, really. Mm. Yeah, do we have, yeah, can the staff help us with these right now? Yeah, just cut it here. So the question asks, can we get mics? 